want to see naked people. I just don't. That truly was pretty incredible. I didn't even think anything like that even existed. He's gonna be so mad about that. Naked and afraid up there. I'm kind of getting excited. This looks so good. This gives me a little anxiety. We're in it now. Straight up. Even though that was a soft goodbye to the bosses. They're always rough. Yeah. Buys are always rough, but at least, like we said, we're going to see them in about a week back over towards the Tetons. We're starting that up and down, all around thing that we were warning you about before. So we're yeah, going. Yeah, we told you we were going to kind of like circle <laughs> at this area over and over again. So yeah, soft goodbye to the mosses, hard goodbye to uh, Craters of the Moon. We had a great time there. So fun. It, it really is. This is 93 and we have never been on this road. It is a beautiful road. Stunning. The mountains are just gorgeous. Holy cow. I love these kind of drives. I know. It it's never gets old. Really, really fun. It's like every corner you turn and like you get a new view of like these new mountain ranges. It's just stunning. I'm gonna give you a little insight of what the heck we're doing. <laughs> so we are going up to see some friends, the Stevens. They're up near Quarter Lane. So this is the up to Idaho we go. And then we're gonna go back down with them to the Tetons where we just came from. And then we're gonna go back up to, to West Yellowstone. Yellowstone. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of crazy, yeah. but again, it's because we have a couple big dots like what we talk about and so the big dots have kind of been back and forth and so we're going to kind of fill in the middle with places we've never been before. We're going to try to hit some hot springs and a ghost town. I'm excited because we've never seen this part of Idaho before. Taking time in Idaho has always been on my list and it never fails that we just never have as much time as we want in an area, but I'm excited that we're getting to see some of the things that we've been waiting to see for a long time. We are headed to Salmon, Idaho, and we are going to be checking out Goldbug Hot Springs. There's a pretty decent hike to get up to it, so we're going to have to work for the views tomorrow. We're going to go stop at a store real quick, get a couple supplies, and get to the campground. What's the campground called? Elkhorn Campground. So it's like pretty much right across the street from where we need to go. We're going to have a very short drive to get to the trailhead tomorrow, which is perfect. I think we're gonna do, the girls have been begging for fish. We bought fish a while ago. We're gonna do kind of like a fish stir fry. Oh, we got all so the, we got mai mai, we got sockeye, we got tuna. I don't know what you bought. There's a lot of fish, in, lot our of fish in our freezer that yeah. we need to eat. So that's the dinner plan tonight. Look at this canyon we're gonna drive through. Oh yeah, this is awesome. This drive just keeps getting more and more beautiful. I'm pretty sure when we were in the truck that I said Elkhorn, it's on Elkhorn Drive, but this is actually Elk Bend RV Park and the sights are gorgeous and the mountain views behind us are amazing. They have 50 up full hookups. We're taking one of the water and electric for tonight because it's nice and cool and we don't need anything else. All pull throughs. He's gonna be so mad about that. <laughs> That's probably good. It is 50 too. Oh yeah? 50, what this do you think? Great. I don't gorgeous. even know what this tree is. It looks really I cool though. I don't know, they're like really amazing. I was telling him they look, they look almost tropical. It is, it's kind of weird. I don't know. Man, what a drive. What an unbelievable drive. 93? Yeah. If you have an opportunity to take that drive, it goes along the Salmon River. Oh my gosh, it's Stunning. beautiful. Stunning. Well, let's get set up. Let's see what we can see here. 
All right, so he did say that Goldbug is busy year round and that if we want to have any time to ourselves or with very few people, we need to be up there like hiking between 6 and 7.30. Okay. Well, morning. that was our plan anyways. Yep. So when you were driving by, I was like, oh, he's not going to be happy about that. The truck went by us and it was like, splattered mud all over. He uh, just washed it this morning before we left. <laughs> Sorry, honey, it's not funny. This will off though. Not a big deal. Oh, yeah. Did the truck get nailed or was it just here? Just on the windshield. Yeah. All right, it's a beautiful morning. Sun has not come up yet. This hike is gonna be sort of a, I don't know, it's a logistical nightmare, I think. There's gotta be a wardrobe change. You're talking about a four mile hike. Nobody knows how high it is. It's 800 feet elevation gain or 1600 feet. So we're gonna find all that out here pretty soon, but it's cold out here. I think it's like 44 degrees, but I mean, that's the idea. We're going to a hot spring, so. I mean, that sort of makes sense, right? The girls are all bundled up, I'm all bundled up. I still got shorts on though. From what I've heard about this hike, is it straight up at first, so you're gonna get a lot of heat, and then it's straight up to finish it, so. <sighs> Let's see if everybody's ready. Beautiful, the sun, like I just said, the sun's not up yet. But there's a lot of, a lot of color in the sky. Are we ready? We're ready. We got clothes changes and <laughs> towels. towels. A necessity when you're going to a hot springs. Oh my gosh. This is the kind of stuff that I haven't even seen outside. Oh. It was super pink. Stop it. Five minutes ago, you missed it. Oh, I saw the tail end of it. That's gorgeous. This gives me a little anxiety. <laughs> Why? All this all the different changes and everything. Yeah, there's a there's oh. a little, little more intense. <laughs> It's more that I just don't want it to be like filled with people, which is why we're going really early. And the yes. guy said, the guy said usually if you leave before 7.30, the only people up there are people from this campground that he's told to get there by 7.30. Yeah, so, so hopefully we're the only ones there. That's the hope. This is actually why we avoid hot springs. One of the reasons. I don't want to see naked people. I just don't, you know? I, I just don't. And they ruin it for a lot of different places I get it I mean you you have every right I guess but with my two daughters and Jess and myself included I just don't I don't need that in my life so there's a few cars here which means we won't be completely on our own no not too many people though although some people go camping up there so you think so yep okay Look at that perfect parking spot, babe. All right, let's uh, figure this whole thing out. All right. Meaning, we'll just go. Yeah, there's actually nothing here. <laughs> nothing at all. You just can't camp within 500 feet of springs. Hot springs are kind of a weird anomaly anyways, but a hot springs on the side of a mountain? It's pretty cool. That's pretty strange. <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm pretty excited for this. This is gonna be cool. Look at this little That's entrance. Awesome. This is pretty cool. So the first part of this is on private property for the first quarter mile. So they just say, stay on the trail. It's technically sunrise already, but we're in a valley. So it'll be, I don't know, probably 45 minutes before we see the sun. All right, let's get tired. <laughs> so the beginning of this is really tough and the very end is very tough, but it's supposed to be I'm fine with that. Look at this. This is cool. Yeah, this is really neat. I think we've made it about three quarters of the way, but the last quarter is up in those trees in that valley up there between those two little peaks. So it is, yeah, we're going up there. The last time we did anything like this, we haven't gone to a lot of hot springs for the aforementioned reasons, but the last one we were at was our very first year of travel. 
on the way up to Alaska. And I don't know, what was it? It was Liard Springs. But Liard it was, Springs. Was it the U, is it in the Yukon? I'd have to double check uh, that. I can't remember if we've British gotten up Columbia. there yet. I can't remember which one it was. It was our 17th wedding anniversary. We stayed in the overflow parking at the campground at Liard Hot Springs. And it was one of the most magical things we had ever done. And still to this day, it's like pretty high on the list. Yeah, that really solidified like, travel for us we're like wow yeah we're hooked because we which also kind of ruined hot springs for us it really did <laughs> because yeah, it's we compare everything so incredible yeah. that it was really hard to go like it, a hot springs to us is in a more natural setting like mm -hmm. that and that's why we're really excited about this one because that's how it looks here yeah. as opposed to like a concrete bowl that was a flat hike on a boardwalk with magical little creatures around. Liard was. Liard was. So this is a bit more challenging and that's kind of fun. Something yeah, different. It right? is something different. We've always wanted to hit some Idaho hot springs and, and we're doing it. You do need to do a lot of research and do a lot of reading because especially if you're traveling with children, some people may not be fully clothed to each his own, but just be aware if you research certain hot springs that you may go to, some of them, a lot of them are clothing optional, which is why we do not go to a lot of hot springs. Yeah. This was not one that had many reviews about that. I only read one review. So hopefully we're not gonna experience any of that right now. <laughs> I'm gonna be naked in the bushes changing. <laughs> I'm sure they all appreciate that. <laughs> all right. Sun's still not out. Not yet. It's not even on those hills yet. Do you know what we're going to earn? I brought the last of our frozen apple fritters from Hertz Donuts. Yes, that was so good. Like frozen, we got two of them. And yep. uh, we had one at Devil's Tower. Lily loves the fuzzy leaves. Fluffy. Up, up we go. You right. ready? We're in it now. Straight up. So I think it's straight up for the next quarter mile. But look at this, these canyon views right here. Oh man. All right, hon. Let's test the water. Yeah. See if it's warm yet. Don't fall in. Are you gonna test it there? That is hot water. Hot water? Like, warm. Really? Yeah. Really? I don't want to steal it. Like, like, like suffering low, I like can steal it. it. Oh, no, I believe you, because that waterfall, there's steam coming off of it. Come on. We're almost there. You can probably sit in that water. Well, we're gonna sit in the water up there. Okay. So, come on. We got that a section of stairs awesome. right here. They say this is the last push. This is the built-in stairs. This is great. I'm gonna guess, so I said there was some confusion whether it was 1,600 feet or 900 feet. I think it's closer to 900 feet. It's probably gonna be 900 on the nose, actually. I think that is but what we're coming at. So There is a little bit like up and down, so I think it depends on how you're measuring it. What time is it? How are we doing? We're doing great. We've been on the trail for 66 minutes, so an hour and six minutes. 66 minutes? Yep. You couldn't have just said almost an hour? We've been on the trail for almost an hour. <laughs> yes! We're doing it so fast. Huh. Okay, I think we found our spot. Check this out. Hot water out of a mountain. What in the heck is going on here? Different little nooks that you can kind of go in. There's little pools throughout. What do you guys think? Let's go. It looks like a bear cave up there. Yeah. Alright. Really hot? Yeah. Not really. Uh, do you not? No. Ooh. You're the only one. I didn't get the memo. You told me you weren't gonna hike in your bathing suit. No, I changed my mind. They changed my mind. Man. <laughs> You'll be fine. I'm gonna be naked and afraid up there. Naked and afraid. Those cages are changing. Alright, Lily, test it out. Burning. Burning? Oh! Another temperature. Go over there. So, that's too hot, huh? How about that one? Oh, uh, this is cool. Oh, good. <laughs> this one's too hot. That one's too cold. <laughs> this one's just right. Alright, it's my turn, Lil. Let me see how hot that this is. Too hot? 
it's not that bad. Well. I feel like if you could pack water shoes, it might help you here. We probably should have done that. This is so amazing. Look at these like quartz crystals. That just looks like a really cool place. I'm coming. Oh my gosh. Look at the view. It's like a different world. Better than I. Better than the photos. Look at this. Unbelievable. They're hot. Look at this. I know. Oh my gosh. Look at the flowers. Layla, what do you think? Pretty, pretty good place to chill, huh? Look at this. This is Layla's view. Look at that. Okay, so this place is officially magic. There's a cave under this waterfall. It's not just a cave though. When you see what it looks like inside the cave. Oh, it's still hot down here. Okay. This is not real. Come on. Oh my God, look at that. What? There's no algae. There's no algae. How do you get up there? Dude, we were just way up there. I don't know what you could hear because the GoPro is the only really camera I wanted bring to bring in, in there. there. <laughs> and I don't know how the audio was, but that was the last place we went to. So magical. Like I've used the term before, but that truly was pretty incredible. I didn't even think anything like that even existed. It felt like it was fake. Like it was totally pretend. I don't understand. Like what we were sitting in in that cave. Yeah, and before so that, beautiful. This was already at like a top one or two hike. And then we found that cave. Holy cow, what an incredible, incredible hike. We're talking like <sighs> of Idaho. all time. Idaho, come on. I know. So it's pretty, pretty amazing. All of those cars and stuff that were in the parking lot when we got there, they were all people that were camped here. So we had, as you saw, the place completely to ourselves. It was unbelievable. I mean, the entire time and it is, what? 
almost one o'clock. We've been up here for hours and hours. I would say most people didn't even show up there till 10, maybe 11 o'clock. Cause yeah, we- After that, it was 11 at least. But no, showed up oh, there. Oh, definitely, to the yes, yes, yes. Because, I mean, we just now started passing people probably a half an hour ago. I know. At 12 o'clock, probably took them an hour to get up here. So that's what I'm saying. I think I'm people, I'm with you. I can highly recommend this as a hike. Don't let the reviews scare you. I mean, there's, it's a more of a steady incline. The end has a little bit more, but if I could do it, you guys can do, you it. Guys can do it. But geez, when we started at the parking lot, I could see these peaks and I was like, we're not going up there, right? There's no way we're going up there. Yeah, we went up there. Yeah, worth well it. Well worth it. And I said it already, but there's hot water coming out of the mountain. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm telling Hot you, water. It, doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. It was so magical that I'm still in awe. I don't know when the sun officially hits that top pool that we were in. It touched it, then it went behind another peak. So it goes on and off. I would say you can't, you can't guarantee sun there until probably three, maybe even four hours after sunrise. Right. Yeah, so keep that in mind if you're trying to go for photos and stuff. Like ridiculous, we ridiculous. I rarely get to the top of a hike and linger for hours which is what we did yeah obviously there was a some hot springs up there that made it pretty inviting yeah but as soon as that sun hit those pools they were like an emerald blue crazy the steam magic I, uh, that's I feel like people design things to look like that and i didn't even know anything like that actually existed that nature created it's amazing so we're gonna Get back down to our truck. I bet we got another mile and enjoy the afternoon. Okay, girls. We should have done only the bottom one. Oh, you only I would have been down there the whole time. Down in the I don't the think cave? it's as hot as the top one. What are we going to call Not that? The cave tub? Ooh, I don't okay. know, but that was the best part. The, of the cave day. tub? The cave tub. You give me a name. Uh, the secret lagoon sounds better. Okay. Secret lagoon, right, okay. Right. No, so and there was like no the algae all. in the, the, oh, the yeah, bottom like one. Not like the slime. That no, I'm not about that. But what about you, Layla? The cave as well. That was the best part of the whole hike. The cave was one of those places that's kind of hard to leave as a photographer because you're like, did I capture that well enough? Because it's so awesome. Lily had my glasses on because she was staring straight into the sun. I guess that brings up a question: Who looks better in my sunglasses, me? Or Lily, be nice to me. Okay, so I understand that this is kind of overkill for the amount of fish that we actually need, but we're gonna try it all. Everybody wants to find their favorite, so that's what we're gonna do. Sockeye salmon, tuna, and mahi-mahi. We got some stir-fried mix right here. Noodles for me and Lily, and Jess and Layla are gonna have rice. I hate rice. Unless it's on sushi. Unless it's on sushi, yes. Okay, so we're gonna cook this up. See what uh, I'm between tuna and salmon. I really don't know. I think you're a tuna guy, and mom's definitely not my These aren't the best tunas for how I like it. I like a thicker tuna so you can really get a good sear, but the whole inside is all raw. Mm. Yeah, let's do this. All right, so the madness begins. There's way too much involved in this. That's why we don't do it that often. Yeah, I'm kind of getting excited. This looks so good. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, this is Elk Bend still. Um, love this campground, super quiet. Um, beautiful location, it's right on this like long river bend that goes around the whole community, it's really cool. So we're packing up here and I wanted to add one more thing about that hike. Just the same for the most like water activities. If you have a set of water shoes or water socks or something like that, bring them to this. I noticed that after soaking for a while, I don't know, my feet got soft because I was in there for like two hours and then walking on all the little, pebbles and stuff it made up sore for like a day so 
If you want to avoid that in slips and all that, try to bring some water shoes if you can. There are some trails, but you're you're like traversing different pools to try to get you know your temperature. So it is it is super slippery. So we're uh, we're heading out of here. We're heading up to Coeur d'Alene. We're gonna go see R and the girls, friends, the Stevens. They are uh, everybody's excited to see each other. I have to ask the girls what their favorite fish is so we can get this nailed down because we can't keep cooking three different fish every time so we're gonna find a happy medium there somewhere actually i'll ask you top two favorite fish layla oh um salmon and mahi mahi salmon and mahi mahi okay what about you same for how it was cooked last night okay it's gonna be similar it's a, it's a texture thing because i mean the rest of the flavors are kind of the same broccoli Rice, they have rice. My favorite would be probably the tuna, but nobody's gonna pick that with me besides Lily. So we're gonna have to go with uh, our second favorite. So my second favorite would probably be, I could go either way. Tuna, what's your second favorite though? So we're trying to find a happy uh, medium. Salmon. All right, salmon it is. We're gonna have to start cooking more salmon. Mahi Mai is really good because- Pretty much between me, dad, and Layla. <laughs> <laughs> Salmon's a little bit more fishy. It's not fishy, but it's a little bit more fishy. Mahi mahi is, uh, it's got a really nice texture. It's a white meat, so it's good. That meal is a lot of work, but it is so good. 